Hi, this is Lisa Loves to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little water balloon for the summer fun for kids or grown-ups, whichever. And it's made with a Bernat um, velvet yarn. It might even be called um, Bernat um, velvet blanket yarn. And I bought a skein a while ago and I thought I'd use it up and finish the water balloons I started years ago. So let's get started. You're going to need a crochet hook, and I use a size K. Here's a big one. A pair of scissors and a tapestry needle and, of course, the blanket yarn. So let's get started. First, you're going to start with a magic loop. And I pull up my loop, and I don't tighten the loop just yet, and then I chain two. And this yarn is really hard to work with, so you really got to know where your stitches are. So then I'm going to do 11 double crochets around the ring. And continue to make sure you can pull on the ring because sometimes the, the blanket yarn does get stuck. And so you're just going to continue to do 11 double crochets around that. And then I'll meet you when I'm done with that. Okay, this is my 12th stitch, and you can see that the stitches are kind of like um, hard to see, and so I just end up um, slip stitching to the beginning, and then I chain two, and then I stop right here, and I get my tapestry needle, and... I pull it tight for that magic ring and you got to pull gently because you can break this yarn and so I pull it as tight as I can and then I thread my tapestry needle and you have to have a wide loop needle and so I make a little go back through and pull up kind of like a little knot there and then I end up weaving it back through and then I skip one so I can go back the other way again and so there's my end is weaved in now because now let's cut my little tail and then I turn it inside the right side and that way you're not going back because it does get harder as you go to um, weave in your end so I just do it right away and then what I'm going to do is I'm working on the second row now and you can see that the second row I have done one double crochet in one stitch and two in the next so that's what I'm going to do for that repeat pattern all the way around so first I'm going to start make sure this isn't twisted um, I'm going to double crochet in the same stitch I came out of. And then this will be included as my two. And then I will go in one double crochet in the next, and then two in the next. So I'm repeating that pattern all the way around. So you're just increasing every other stitch. So there's one double crochet and then this one I have to do two in this stitch. So you can see how that goes. And then so I will see you at the end of this row. Okay, so I've completed this row, this row around, whichever you want to call it. And then I slip stitch to the beginning. Make sure I go through both of those loops. It's kind of hard to see. And then, oops, I don't think I got it yet. I told you it's really hard to work with this yarn, but you kind of got to feel your way. And you might have to pick up with the end of your loop and then get through both. And so that's what. And then I'm going to chain two again after I slip stitch that row together. And then I'm going to pull some yarn here. I'm going to 
put one double crochet in the same stitch I came out of because I always leave a hole there. It's just my preference for what I do. And I am going to put one double crochet in each stitch around. Oops, I skipped one there. There's a stitch. So I'm going to continue to do that and I'll see you at the end of that row. Okay, I completed that round and I'm going to slip stitch to the top like I did the last row. I'm going to chain two. And then so this time I'm on the one, two, third, the fourth row. And the fourth row, one, two, three, fourth row, I decrease um, every two stitches. So I'm constantly decreasing that row around. So how I do that is I still go into the same stitch I just came out of and I pull up half of my double crochet and I just do a double crochet decrease. And so now I have made my first decrease and I'll continue in the next two stitches, I'll make a decrease. So, and then go, go that way around. So I'll see you at the end of that row. Okay, so I've made my last decrease and I have one stitch left. So I'm just going to do a double crochet in that stitch. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no, I think what happened is, is I, I should have just made that a little stitch there and not worried about it. But so I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning because crocheting is very forgiving. You can make it as you go and you can change it. There's just so much you can do. So, um, now I'm going to chain two. So now I'm on the one, two, three, four, the fifth row. And the fifth row, see, I have decreases there too. So I have, I'm just decreasing in every stitch around. Um, so we'll see you at the end of that row. Okay, so I'm on the fourth row one two three four actually the fifth row is where i'm at so i'm on the fifth row one two three four fifth five this is my fifth row and i double crochet and then i decrease so i do one decrease double crochet and then i do just one regular double crochet all the way around because i've already done a row of decreases every stitch so I'm just going to try to make it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go do a double crochet in the first stitch that I just came out of. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in that stitch. Just one. And the next one I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. And then I'm just going to do a double crochet. And then a double crochet decrease. Whoops. These balloons work up really fast and um, how to use these is I just get a bucket of water and I throw the little um, water balloons in it and then I let my girls, so I'm to the end and I'm just going to do um, just another double crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. And then this is the last round and so the last round is I chain one. And I single crochet in the first stitch and then the second stitch I do a single crochet decrease and then I single crochet decrease and this tightens up the edge of the water balloon so it looks like a water balloon so I'm just going to do another single crochet decrease and then I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and I'm back to the beginning and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning and then I pull up a loop and then I fasten off. So I'll just cut my yarn and then so that loop will tighten and then a lock and then I'll weave in my ends. And there you have it, your water balloons. And so I just make as many as I can 
and I throw them in the bucket and they will saturate with water and you throw them at each other just like regular water balloons. They're fun for kids or even adults. They're just loads of fun and they're reusable. So, you know, you can just wring them out and let them dry. Um, and let's, there you have it. So thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.